If I lose this Splatfest, I am going to throw my Switch in vanilla ice cream. Ever since 2015, Splatoon has been doing special in-game events to keep players interested. The most popular kinds of these events are Splatfests, where you must choose a team out of the given options, then play Turf War battles to earn points for the team you chose. For July 2023, we finally have an ice cream Splatfest. Vanilla versus strawberry versus mint chip. In this Splatfest, vanilla is the best option. Both the ice cream flavor itself and the things surrounding it override both the other flavors. First, vanilla's in-game attributes are the best out of the three. This means that the idol that is representing the team and the color of the ink that you fight with when you join the team. Since Shiver is representing Vanilla, it has the best idol. She has a sense of humor, but she still manages to be the most chill out of the three idols. Lines like these show both of these points. Even if she wasn't intentionally trying to be funny, her personality Besides her personality, design is something that is very important for an idol which she clearly does the best. She is a shark trainer and by her design, you can start to pick up on that. She is the only Octoling and her name and design both connect to her chill personality. This flails in comparison to Fry and Big Man who don't have as good as personalities and even more important, haven't won many Splatfests. However, there are other things that make vanilla a good choice besides just the ice cream itself. The color of the ink you will be shooting with in battles when you join vanilla is... White. Yes, I've turned to the dark side or light side. Anyways, besides this specific shade of white being a really pretty color, white is the funniest choice if you want to spray your white goo everywhere. <laughs> White is the funniest choice if you want to spread your white goo everywhere. And to top that, just look at the color. It's so pretty, you want to be using this. One thing I like to go over before I decide what is the best color is how well it works with the other colors. I've made color combinations of each of them, and you can clearly see which combinations are the best and the worst. In my opinion, the best one is strawberry and vanilla. The worst is strawberry and mint. I think the mint color isn't gonna look too good, but the top two best color combinations feature vanilla. So if you're about having fun playing Turf Wars, then vanilla is definitely the choice for you. Another reason is that vanilla is the best ice cream flavor out of the three. Clearly, this is something that would convert someone to vanilla ice cream's team, but I can prove that vanilla is the best flavor. I'll start with mint chip. Personally, I am one of the toothpaste believers, but I mean, I understand people who don't. Mint chip is one of those flavors that you either love or you hate, which is a weird flavor to pick over some of the most popular flavors ever. Strawberry is generally liked throughout most people, but it really depends on where you're getting it. If I got to try the best of the best of each three flavors, strawberry would most likely be the best out of the three. But at the same time, if I were to try the worst of each flavor, strawberry would be the worst out of the three. Having such an unpredictable flavor isn't good to be reliant on. It could be too artificial, the strawberries were grown wrong, the chunks inside are bad. I mean, even chunks in general inside the ice cream nobody i've ever asked likes something that unpredictable in their ice cream it messes up the texture and doesn't give the eater any control over what they want in their ice cream it won't always work vanilla on the other hand has neither of these problems the only thing that might be a problem with vanilla is it not being too extravagant on its own but this is disproved with my next reason Vanilla is by far the most versatile of the flavors. It can be combined with almost any other flavor and they will complement each other perfectly. Vanilla is boring? Well, 
put any topping on it and it's perfect now. Lately, I've been getting vanilla smothered with Oreos and the Oreos always complement the vanilla. I'm sure you can think of some of your own examples, but here are some that stick out to me. Baked goods like brownies, pudding and pie, and fruits like banana, mango, and strawberry. The next reason you should join Team Vanilla is because we're the most popular team. That's a guaranteed eight points before the Splatfest even starts. But I mean, that's not the only perk of joining the most popular team. It also means that it's a way easier way to find people to play with. You want a streamer on your team? I mean, most streamers are gonna choose Vanilla. You wanna play with your friends to grind for a higher power? Your friends will most likely be on Vanilla. You wanna use pools? Guess what team to join? You may be protesting this point and writing in the comments, hmm, well, actually, Vanilla is quite the basic ice cream flavor, so being popular is kinda a bad thing. But you should watch the entire video before making a comment like that. Vanilla isn't basic. Why isn't it basic? Because there's a fine line between popular and basic. In my opinion, since there's no real dictionary that can tell you the difference between those two words, is that basic is a blindly followed thing, which isn't even that good, but it's liked for other reasons. But popular is something that tons of people like because it is good. A lot of people who refuse to join Team Vanilla don't want to be on not any third team which is not a good way of looking at things for many reasons. One major one is that if your opinion is always the unpopular one, then you're not really a free thinker. It can get to the point where the people who don't like the popular stuff start to be the majority, and not liking the popular stuff is the popular option. Second, just because it's popular does not mean that it's bad. I've already explained how vanilla is a well-liked flavor, but some people hate it just to be different. This mindset only stops people from making good things become mainstream, but to even say that vanilla is the basic option is foolish simply because the three choices are some of the most mainstream flavors in the world. According to a Fox News survey, each of the flavors are in the top eight most popular ice creams in America which means you're not deviating from the norm by picking strawberry, especially since it's only fourth place. Okay, some people don't like Fox News. It's very political and they don't like their stance. Newsweek also did a poll on this and their results support my claim even more. Vanilla is the most popular being second place out of the three, but the other two are both tied for third. Although vanilla is often confused for being a default in reality, it's just a flavor that's really versatile. I mean, people have said vanilla is good because you can add stuff to it. And yeah, they're right. Unlike my previous points being somewhat connected, these final ones will be completely unrelated. The first of the two is that the vanilla crop is completely superior to the other ones. In fact, it's the most second most expensive spice. Insider Business states that it's only available for one day of the entire year. It's also raised in a specific climate and it's very extremely hard to get. Sounds like a different plant. Strawberry is a good fruit, but I mean, it's not all that interesting. And mint? Oh, it's just invasive. Don't plant mint. It has to be contained or it will spread throughout your entire garden. Utah State says they can't even, they can even grow three feet tall. That sounds terrifying. Something else is terrifying is the people on Team Mint. The last reason is the most important reason of them all. If you do not hear this reason, you will join the wrong team. The final reason is because if you join Team Mint, you will be correlated to the... When you and your friends don't park next to each other anymore. And freaking Mint! Grayson got a boyfriend. Don't freaking Mint! Grayson has a boyfriend. When you have a boyfriend, you're going to be a boyfriend.
Clearly, after all this, the best team to join is Vanilla. Not just because of the flavors, but also the in-game benefits. This Splatfest will be on July 14th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it will end July 16th at the same time. The tricolor turf war stage will be Barnacle and Dime, which is very new. This Splatfest will be very fun. I hope to see you there, and I hope to see you on Team Vanilla!